Thank you. Welcome. Yes, Hi, how are you? Hello, Kate. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Okay. Nice. Thank you. Well, uh, let's start with the class. It's a pleasure to be with you again. We are starting the week. And it's nice, right? It's so good to see you. I will start passing the attendance. Okay. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. How are you? Thank you. Very good. Amazing. Well, let's just start. Uh, let me pause the attendance, please. As soon as you listen to your names, help me and say right here, yeah, we're present. Carlos Amaya. Carlos Guardado. Daniel. Thank you. Present teacher. Thanks. Daniela. Deborah. Present. Okay. Eva. Presente. Gabriela. Thank you. Jacqueline? Any from here? Present. Good. Jennifer Torres? Here. Good. Jocelyn? Present. Good. Jonathan? Jonathan dijo, present. Yes. Okay, Jose. Present. Good. Linda. Yeah. Lisa. Present, teacher. Present. Thanks, Margarita. Present. Good. Mariana. Present. Mira. Mira. Present. Melissa. Present. Roxana. Present. Jancy. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Ablum. And Jeremy. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, well. Perdón, no sé si no le escuché cuando mencionó mi nombre. Jacqueline. Ya, it's in my list, no worries. Tanisa, no se preocupe. Thank you. Teacher, yo también no escuché si mencionó mi nombre. Oh, uh, yes, I, I, I did it, but it, you're in the list, no worries. Got it? Thank you. Okay, gracias. Yes, sí lo mencioné, pero ya lo sabré en el no se preocupen si no lo escucharon. So, yeah, Jennifer, I say your name. Arrévalo, no worries, you're in the list. Ya lo puse en lista, no se preocupen. Bueno. Eh, how are you guys, Sammy? How was the weekend? How was the weekend? fin de semana? That's good. Very good teacher. Okay. Amazing. Uh, I hope that you could enjoy right the weekend. 
you know um and it's nice to, to have you again right in, in class this is class number nine we are starting with a third week as you know a the coordinator said in the in the chat right in the WhatsApp group <laughs> we start with the third week and we're going to focus on the section four right so I hope you could complete everything last week right until the third section yeah, because today we'll begin with the four one right so we'll see new things uh did you have any questions everybody no sé si tienen preguntas espero que hayan podido dar por lo de la semana pasada la sección tres típicamente y el meter ahí se está tomando eh, siempre verdad el control como se les está recordando WhatsApp <coughs> Así que eh, estemos ¿verdad? atentos y, y también ¿verdad? trabajando en la plataforma para poder completar las actividades que se nos han asignado. Eh, esta semana iniciamos la semana 3. Ya pues eh, llegamos a la mitad, ¿verdad? entonces hoy iniciamos con la semana 3 y vamos con la sección 4 en, de, en, la, en la plataforma. Entonces, que e invitarles nuevamente, ¿verdad? Como cada semana y en cada día, ¿verdad? Que la verdad es, se les repite y se les hace la, siempre la invitación, ¿verdad? A todos para que puedan que seguir completando sus actividades. Eso va a ser, pues, bien repetitivo para que ustedes, ¿verdad? Puedan ir completando. Y esta semana, repito, semana 3, y sección 4 en la plataforma. Hay que seguir avanzando y como se recordó, se hizo el recordatorio hace un par de horas, una hora o dos horas, no sé. Para ver en el grupo, eh, no se nos olvide estar presentes en las, en las clases, eh, porque ya pues, prácticamente llegamos a la mitad y ya queríamos, pues, dentro de muy pronto, ¿verdad? Terminando, que no quiero que les vaya a afectar, pues, el, el, la asistencia, ¿verdad? Y mantengamos siempre las dos cosas, porque con tres notas y deshacer. No sé si alguien tiene preguntas, dudas. Comentarios, ¿no? No, teacher. Ah, muy bien. ¿Cómo estuvo su, su examen, Mitra? ¿Todo bien? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿All good? Estuvo bien, teacher. Era realmente todo lo que estuvimos viendo en, la, en las guías y en las clases. Y la verdad, sí se sintió bien para el nivel en que estamos. Excelente. Somebody else? ¿Tiene alguna, alguna duda o alguna dificultad? No, teacher. No, no teacher. Perfecto. Bueno, eh, esta es la sección que vamos a, a, a iniciar, ¿verdad? La sección 4. Igual como la verdad que las, como las demás, eh, hay que ir este completando, ¿verdad? Parte, por parte, cada uno de esos, ¿verdad? Apartados, que los revisando los objetivos, videos, ejercicios. Es que esta, esta sección debe estar completa, ¿verdad? Esta semana, eh, el jueves, jueves, antes de la clase se los recomiendo, ¿verdad? Porque se toma eh, siempre con el control, se toma la, cambiado la palabra, como le dicen, eh, pero se toma eso, ¿verdad? Se toma el, el control eh, acerca de, de las eh, secciones, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. Así que les recomiendo que lo vamos completando y lo completemos después de sorda jueves antes de la, de la clase, para que no tenga ningún inconveniente. Así es que eso, con eso vamos ahora, ¿verdad? Nos, eh, déjame ver si alguien más ha unido. De hecho, sí. Uh, Daniela, hello, hello, good afternoon. Solamente ella. 
Hi. Thank you. How are Hello. you? Thanks. I am fine. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, right now, just Daniela has joined us. Mm -hmm. Well, I will verify later if everybody is in my list, right? So let's start with the class. Uh, by the way, guys, don't forget to use your cameras. Use your cameras, please. Please, please turn on the cameras. Um, hmm. Well, the topic for today, well, actually today is, yeah, you know, Monday, July 18th. We are starting the week. And this is what we have for today. We will recognize uh, clothes and colors. Yeah, we are Clothes and colors. Right. Clothes and colors. Topic. Okay, I will give you the you know vocabulary of clothes, and we will recognize at the same time a colors, right? And we will describe describe the clothes. Very good. Let's begin. Okay, over here we have some clothes. You know, we can see some people, and they are you know wearing different clothes, right? Clothes. Um, for example, we have clothes for work. We have clothes for work. And this is clothes for Felicia, right? Felicia. A different, right? Different items of clothing. We're going to, listen, we're going to first, listen, yeah, listen to the vocabulary. And then I will ask you to, you know, count it, to practice. You can repeat, it's okay, you can repeat, but I please ask you, I will ask you to repeat without turning on, turning on the microphone right now, right? Right now, because I need you to listen. I need you to listen first, okay? Let's begin, and I think I'm going to use the magnifier. Yes, I want to, yeah, do a beer. Let's begin uh, on this side first. Close for work. Close for work. Let's begin with the man. With the man. Right. Shirt. Shirt. Tie. Tie. Belt. Belt. Jacket. Jacket. Hands. Hands. Coat. 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 Yes. Yes. The jacket and the pants. They, you know, are the, the suit, right? Suit. Suit. This is the suit, right? The complete thing, right? The whole thing. Suit. The jacket and the pants. Suit. Right? One more time. Uh, again, focus on the man. Third. Third. Tie. Tie. Belt. Belt. Jacket, jacket, pants, pants. And this is, you know, the suit, right? Jacket and the pants are the suit. Suit. Coat, coat, shoes, shoes, right? Now look at the woman. A blouse, blouse, scarf. Scarf, skirt, skirt. This is a jacket too, right? A jacket, a jacket. And the high heels, high heels. You say just heels, heels, and that's referring to you know the the normal. Let's say normal uh, heels, right? But you can say high heels are the ones that you know look like this, right? I look at the woman. The woman is wearing uh, some high heels, high heels. Masalto de Comerda. High heels. High heels. Listen again. Listen again. Blouse. Blouse. Scarf. Scarf. Skirt. Skirt. High heels. High heels. You know, close for work specifically. Close for work. Do we have more, you know, items? 
This is a raincoat. 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 This is a dress. 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 Okay. Clothes for work. Clothes for work. Any questions? Uh, teacher, y, y ese raincoat, ¿cómo, cómo sería? Ya en raincoat, it, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a special item of clothing that you use when, when it's raining, right? When it's raining, you use a raincoat. Pero no es capa, no es capa, capa para la lluvia. Yeah, kind of, you know, it's similar right. to that. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, there are different, different raincoats, right? Different a kind of raincoats, right? And, you know, talking about the material, right? the material of the wrinkles, they are different, right? They are different, the, the, the material, right? Material. And this, in this case, this one is, you know, like, I would say like, you know, like denim, right? Denim, denim, in a way, right? You know, that similar, similar to that. And dress, dress. Somebody else questions? What else? No. No. Okay. That is close for work. What about close for leisure? We have close for leisure, right? Let's look at the woman first. Hat. 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 Sweater, sweater, sweater. These are gloves, 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 gloves. Jeans, jeans, boots, boots, boots. That's about the woman, right? The woman. All the men, we can see, right? Different items of clothing. A cap, 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 cap. This is a T shirt, 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 T shirt. Socks, socks, socks. And it's a sneakers, sneakers, right? Sneakers. Okay. okay. Also, we have a, a pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. And we have the swimsuits, right? Swimsuits, swimsuits, swimsuits. Okay. So here we have some clothes for leisure, right? Clothes that you use on when you go out, when you go to the beach, for example, different places, different places. You know, we need to uh wear clothes, right? According according to the occasion, right? If it is for work, you need to use this, right? You need, so you need to wear this one. If it is, you know, that you let's say are you're at home, so you have to use with this one, clothes for leisure. Hmm. Any questions? Teacher, sure. maleta, como se dice en inglés? Uh, you can say a suitcase. Suitcase. Okay. Suitcase. Suitcase. Somebody else? Questions? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. And the and the first is is shirts, and the the second is t-shirt. 
Camisa, perdón. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a shirt. Solo shirt. Shirt. Shirt, shirt. yes, shirt. Shirt, con, con shirt. Third. Um, third. Ajá, sir. Y la third. otra sería T-shirt. 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 Okay. T-shirt. Yes. T-shirt. Exactly. The difference, the difference is that uh, a shirt is this one, right? This is a shirt. I'm wearing, uh -huh. a, I'm wearing a shirt. And a t-shirt, you know, it's different because it's, you know, uh, let's say an informal, right? An informal uh, clothing, right? The ones that we wear at home, for example, like those are t-shirts. And shirts are the ones that we wear for, for work, right? Specifically, they are formal. Mm -hmm. Yes. In Spanish, in Spanish is camisa. Camisa. Exactly, okay. right? We say camisa, this one. Okay. Camisa formal or camisa. And the camisa. other one, a t shirt, right, is camiseta, as we said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Somebody else? ¿Cuál era la pronunciación de las botas, teacher? La de la chica de morado. Ya, yeah, boots. 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 Ok. Yes. Ok. But listen, listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Close for work. Third. 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 Tie, belt, belt, jacket, jacket, hands, hands, two, 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 hold, hold, use, use, blouse, blouse, scarf. Scarf, skirt, skirt, high heels, high heels, high heels, wrinkled, wrinkled, dress, dress, clothes for leisure, hat, hat. Sweater, sweater, gloves, gloves, jeans, jeans, boots, boots, cap, cap, t shirt, t shirt, t shirt, purse, purse, socks. Socks, sneakers, sneakers, pajamas, pajamas, swimsuits, swimsuit. Yeah. Somebody else? Question. You know, we can we can crack. We can say right. We can say uh, an express. Clothes for work, I can say I work, sorry, I wear, I wear a shirt, a tie, and pants for work. I can say that. That's what I wear. Right? In my case, I wear a shirt, a tie, and pants for work. Right? That's my, you know, the clothes that I wear. Clothes where I wear, right? I can ask you, right? What do you wear for work? What do you wear for work? I wear. Shirt, pants, and, and a tie, right? A tie for work. That is one possibility. What about you? What what do you wear for work, Tommy? What do you wear for work? What do you what do you wear for work, guys? I wear uh, 
to share the the bot the bots bots uh, and James and uh, 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 pero botas es con cómo se igual botas va botas botas uh, James y Sure. Okay. Okay. Nice. Very okay. good. Thank you. In my oh, yeah. work, I use shirt, uh, pants, and shoes. Okay. Yeah. Hey, just remember, Jonathan, you say I wear. I wear instead of use. I, I wear. wear. Yes. Sería entonces Yo, in, in my work. No. Oh, I wear directamente. You can say I wear, yeah, I wear a, a shirt, for example, uh, a tie and jeans for work. For work. Okay. Se, se, en español se, yo uso. I wear. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly I wear. Yo, okay. Yo, yo. I wear. I wear. Yes, I wear. Somebody else? I wear. What do you wear for work, guys? Somebody else? Hey, Jancy, what do you what do you wear for work? Shirt. Yeah. Skirt. Okay. And high heels. Oh, okay. Nice. Very good. Repeat for me. Shirt. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very good. What do you wear for work? Uh, let's see. Let me try with Daniel. What, what do you wear for work, Daniel? In my world, I wear a shirt, a pants, a, a jacket. And, sorry? A jacket. Oh, jacket, okay. Amazing. Thank you. Well, and I can ask you, I can ask you, right, you know, next. What about clothes for leisure, right? Clothes that you wear at home at home, when you go out, etc. So I can say, right, in my case, I wear a t-shirt for a home. Okay. I, in some cases, so I, I wear tank tops, right? Tank tops and shorts, right, at home, right? Because I want to feel comfortable, relax. I wear, um, you know, tank tops <clears throat> and shorts at home. Right, that, that's in my case. That's in my case, right? I want to feel comfortable, calm, so I wear tent tops and short at home. Yes. What about you? What, what do you wear at home, Tammy? <clears throat> what do you wear at home? The shares, uh, I, 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 I wear. I wear yeah. the shirts, uh, um, short, and flip, uh, genus, uh, so you say oh. flip flops. Flip flops, yeah, exactly, very good. Flip flops. Flip flops, okay. Okay, awesome. Thank okay. you. I wear. Yes. I wear short. Yes. Um. Mm, uh, t-shirt. And t-shirts, okay, t-shirts. Very good. Thank you, Eva. What do you um, wear at home? Sorry, sorry. Hasta ahí. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. What do you wear at home? And tell me, um, Mariana, what do you wear at home? I wear... A t-shirt and a short at home. And shorts, and shorts. And shorts at home. Yes. Very good. Okay. 
Yeah, I wear a uh, t-shirt, is that right? T-shirt, t-shirt, and shorts. Don't say, guys, it, in general, don't say a shorts, don't say a jeans, right? A jeans. Say shorts or jeans, because shorts and jeans or pants are plural, right? Plural, we don't say a shorts or a jeans, right? In general, in general, okay? Thank you. What do you wear at home, Jose? Eh, le quería preguntar antes algo. Tal vez de decir I wear, puedo decir I use. O um, sería diferente. The thing is that when we talk about clothes, we tend to use I wear. I use is not common. That is a, the word. I'm sorry, that is the way. That is the word that I we use, use for, for clothes, right? Um, used to express. Okay, thank you. What uh, clothes? I wear. Yep. Okay. Hey, I wear a t-shirt and shorts and flip flop. Flip flop. Flip flop. Flip flop. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Jennifer Torres, what do you wear at home? I wear um, a teacher. Yeah. A skirt. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Whatever you try with. Deborah, what do you wear at home? <clears throat> I wear um, pyjama. <laughs> okay, pajamas, pajamas. Pajamas. Okay, right. Yes, Jonathan, uh, where is, um, is used for that, you know, we express what clothes, what clothes do we match, right? We match, sorry, we match. But clothes we, we dress, we dress, right, specifically. Where is used to express what clothes you match? Let's like say you uh, dress, right? That's why we use wear instead of use. Yeah, use is not common. Yeah. Okay, any questions about clothes? Not teacher. No. Something just a second. Okay. Let me try with somebody else. Uh, let's see. Jocelyn, what clothes do you wear at home? Tell us. I wear a t shirt and shorts. Okay. A t shirt. T shirt. A t shirt. Yes, repeat for me, wear, I wear. I wear. I wear, yes, good. What clothes do you wear at home? Let me try with Daniela, what clothes do you wear at home? I wear a t-shirt and jeans at home. Okay, thank you. Roxana, what clothes do you wear at home? Is I wear pants in shoes. In okay. shoes. In shoes, yeah. Yes. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Well, okay. now we're going to identify, you know, some colors, some colors. And then we're going to describe, you know, clothes specifically. Let's go with the colors. Let me give you, you know, some colors. Let's just start with this ones. We have this ones, right? White, dark gray, light gray, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, beige, light brown, light brown, 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 sorry, that brown, 
and black, right? black. So, you know, we have different tones, right? Different tones, talking about the colors, white, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, dark brown, black, black. Questions for those colors? Anaranjado, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Let's go with those ones. Yeah, we have the second part. Here we have the colors, right? Listen, listen, listen first. Red, red, pink, pink, orange, orange. That is your, your answer, my friend, orange, orange. Orange, yellow, yellow, light green, light green, green, dark green, dark green, light blue, light blue, 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 dark blue, dark blue, and purple, purple, purple. Okay, those are colors. Red, pink, orange, orange, yellow, yellow, light green, light green, 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 dark green, dark green, light blue, light blue, blue, blue. Dark blue, dark blue, purple, purple. Okay. Colors, colors. And we use them to describe right, our clothes or different things. Any questions about colors? Uh, Teacher. Yeah. Dark blue, light blue, uh, azul suave y azul fuerte. Exactly. Así es. Uh, yes. Dark blue, right? That's just tend to say, right? Or, or school. Light. Light blue is like tono suave. Yeah. Now I would like to, to tell us, right? What are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are blue and black. Okay. My favorite colors are blue and black. Okay. My favorite color is purple. Okay, my favorite color is purple. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for saying in the chat. My favorite color is blue. Well, I would like you guys to, to share your, your answers in the chat, please. As Jose did. Please, I would like you to tell us in the chat what is your favorite color or what are your favorite colors. My favorite color, you can say, right, is favorite color is black. Right. Tell us, guys, in the chat, what is your favorite color or what are your favorite colors? It depends. If you want to mention more than one, you use my favorite colors or black and blue for example in your case mariana my favorite color oh sorry my favorite colors are mariana are yellow and pink because it's plural it was said my favorite color is pink good yeah in your case mariana you have to change only the verb you need to use or instead of is because it's plural my favorite color is brown good jancy yeah as i said my favorite colors are black and purple good Carlos Amaya, my favorite colors are black and purple, yes. Okay, my favorite color is orange. My favorite color is purple, okay. My favorite colors, uh, Jennifer Torres, my favorite colors are purple and dark green because it's plural. My favorite colors are colors black, colors are pink and black, good. Okay. Favorite color is blue. Favorite colors are oh my favorite color is dark blue. Daniela, my favorite color is dark blue. Good. 
this is the the way. Mira, my favorite color is dark blue because it's just one. My favorite color is purple. My favorite colors are Jennifer Mejibar. My favorite colors are because you you express in two. It's plural. It's plural. You can say my favorite color is, or you can say my favorite colors are because it's the second one is in plural. The second one is in plural, right? My favorite colors, I think, this one, this one, are purple and black. And black. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is purple, my favorite color is red, good. Okay. Oh, Margarita, the same. My favorite colors are, Margarita, black and brown, please. Okay, very nice. Thank you guys for having me in the chat. I would like to listen to some of you, right? That's why I didn't mention your names because we want to listen to you. Por eso no mencioné los nombres del cuerpo, guarda en el chat. Estoy leyendo todos, pero no los mencioné porque quiero preguntarles acá. Well, let me see. Let me try with Karen. What is your favorite color, Karen? This is a color. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah. Eh, ¿Cómo me dijo que pusiera? Oh, in your case, it's like my favorite colors are Jennifer. On. Black and purple. Eh, This my one. Colors on. Or, no, or. My favorite colors are black and purple. My favorite Ah, okay, como es en plural, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you too, thank you too. Let me try with uh, Heidi. What is, your, what is your favorite color, Heidi? Ready? Ah, okay, so I think she can use a microphone now. It's a purple in the chat. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Uh, Luisa, what is your favorite color? Oh, what are your favorite my, colors? My favorite color are um, purple and black. Ah, okay, you better for me. My favorite colors. My favorite color are right. blue. Purple and black. Okay, blue, purple, and black. Uh -huh. Blue, purple, and black. Yeah. Yes. My favorite colors are blue, purple, and black. Yeah. That is the way. Here. What is your favorite color? Uh, or what are your favorite colors, Jonathan? My favorite colors are black and gray. Yes. Yeah. Les estoy haciendo las dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Por si solo tienen un, un solo ¿verdad? color favorito. O los dos, ¿verdad? Si tienen dos o tres. Okay. Let me see. Oh, Jonathan, please, do me a favor. Select someone. Choose a classmate. Okay. Uh... Uh, Mariana Brizuela. Mariana, okay. Uh, Jonathan, please ask a question to Mariana. Mariana, what are your favorite colors? My favorite colors are yellow and pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mariana, select one more person, the last person, please. Jacqueline Menjibar. Okay. The same question, Marina, to Jacqueline, please. Jacqueline, what are your favorite color? Teacher, perdón, dijo Jacqueline Menjibar or Jacqueline Cura? Oh, yeah, that's a good, good 
good question. Um, I think you're, you're talking about Jacqueline Suara, right, eh, Mariana? Oh, okay. Yeah. Creo que me confundí, pero sí, Jacqueline Suara. Okay. <laughs> Entonces, my favorite color is purple. Okay, my favorite color, repeat it for me, Jacqueline. My favorite color is? Purple. Red. Okay, yeah, very good. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I listened to somebody else. Good. Okay. Well, that is the way, guys, you know, we express colors, right? We can uh, tell someone about our favorite color, right? Colors. Very good. So now I would like you to describe, you know, describe your clothes using the, the colors, right? Using adjectives specifically. Any questions about colors? Preguntas? No. Okay, now let's describe. Let's describe clothes using colors, right? For example, I can say, my t-shirt is blue, right? My t-shirt is blue. So right now, look at look at me, look at me, right? Look at my shirt. So my shirt is yeah, light green, right? Light green, light green. My shirt is light green. So you can describe, right? You know, right now you can describe your clothes, your clothes, right? In my case, if I describe my clothes, I can say, right? I can say my shirt is blue, sorry, light green. My pants aren't, yeah, gray. And my shoes aren't black. So this is, you know, what, what I'm wearing right now. So look at somebody like that. La vestimenta que tengo ahora. Okay. My shirt is light green. My pants are gray. And my shoes are black. That is the way. So I can continue. My shoes, my shorts are black. For example, my shorts are black. My shorts are black. My shoes are brown. My shoes are brown. We can make a combination right now. In some cases, our clothes, right? Uh, the, the pieces, the, the items of clothing, sorry have different, like, three, four, five colors, right? For example, imagine that I said, right, my t-shirt, my t-shirt is, we can say, right, blue and black, right? So we had the two colors. So, or there is another possibility that maybe we, it has three colors, right? My, my shirt, my t-shirt, sorry, is black, Let's say white it's, and black, right? So we, you can make that combination. Your, your item clothing, right, has different color, different colors, okay? So what I want to do right now, I need to describe your clothes. The clothes that you are wearing right now. So in my case, I describe my clothes, right? This is what I'm wearing right now. describiendo lo que yo estoy usando. Cementa. My shirt is light green. You can see, right? Light green. My pants are gray. And my shoes are black. I will give you some time, please. In your notebooks, I would like you to display your clothes. Follow the examples, please. Go ahead, take your time. In your notebooks, in your notebooks. When you finish, please raise your hands. Raise your hands when you finish. Cuando finalizamos, levantamos la mano. Sure. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> my shirt is black or, is, uh, or my shirt uh, are black? My shorts are black. Are black. My shorts uh, are black. Shorts black. is plural. Shorts is plural. El short, el short. My shorts is, is gris. Yes, it, I mean, okay. R, R, okay. R, R. Yes, R. Yes. My shirt is, is it's blue. It's blue, my yeah. Shore is, uh, right. My shorts are gray. And my flip-flops are black. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. My, my flip-flops are, my flip-flops are, yeah. Lo que sucede con shorts, con shorts, ¿verdad? Es que shorts es plural. Es plural. Es plural. 
pues, creí que eso es como solamente el chorba, uno, uno, que, pero el chorba yeah. dice, ya es plural, ok. Eso, ah. eso, 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 eso lo, te, lo quiero explicar algo. Eso es lo que sucede eh, eh, en español, ¿verdad? Que en español estamos acostumbrados a eso. De decir, por ejemplo, eh, short, solamente short, ¿verdad? Short. short. O, in, o incluso, ¿verdad? Hay, eh, hay personas que dicen chores, ¿verdad? Chores. Esa es la forma como nos hemos acostumbrado, ¿verdad? Y, y estamos, lo utilizamos bastante, ¿verdad? Chores, chores, dos chores, tres chores, ¿verdad? Pero es, en realidad, eh, eso no existe, ¿verdad? Bueno, segunda gramática, no existe. Sí. Tendría que ser shorts. shorts, shorts. Sí, eso sería. Y es, y es porque es plural, porque ¿verdad? se tienen los dos, era el short, los shorts, ¿verdad? Tienen eh, pues las dos ambos partes, ¿verdad? Donde, ambos, exacto, ambos lados. Igual que este. los lentes. ¿No? Igual que sublas, igual que los lentes. Son glasses, exactly, Son exactly. Que tienen los dos lentes. Entonces tenemos un par ahí. Un par. Ah. Exacto, por eso se, se, es plural, chores. Tendría que ser así incluso, ¿verdad? En español, chores. Ok. Aunque, bueno, sería de buscar bien, ¿verdad? Okay. <ríe> ya. Yes. Y cuando, se, y cuando uno se refiere a Jim, es igual, Jim o Jim. James, ya, yeah, es in plural, too, right? James. Tenemos okay. que ser James, James, ¿verdad? Y si lo queremos hacer, ¿verdad? Porque James es no contable. James. Si lo queremos hacer contable, sería a pair of James. A pair of James. A pair of James. Ese ya es contable. Y aquí sí ya se puede decir, ¿verdad? Un, en español, ¿cómo sería? Un par de... Un par de, de James. Algo sí lo he escuchado yo. Un par de James. Pero no sé, no, no, no es correcto decir, ¿verdad? Un jeans. Dame un jeans. No es correcto. Pero, ¿verdad? Repito, estamos acostumbrados a eso, ¿verdad? Así es que así lo decimos. Y no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Nuestro... <coughs> Pero gramaticalmente es incorrecto. I can see that you're sending your examples in the chat. Very good. Very good, good. Check, let me check. Um, oh, okay. Jose, you can say my, my t-shirt is brown. Is brown, right? You can omit color. You can omit color, right? My shorts are, Jose, my shorts are blue. My shorts are blue. My flip flops are, Jose, are, they're blue. My shorts are and my flip flops are. Es plural. En lugar de is, utiliza are. Y podemos omitir, eh, escuchemos a vos. Podemos omitir el color, ¿verdad? No es necesario mencionar color brown, por ejemplo. Color blue. Eh, en este caso, ¿verdad? Ya, ya pues, este. Sabemos que estamos hablando, escribiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, prendas, en ese caso, refiriéndonos a colores, ¿verdad? Entonces, no es necesario mencionar color, ¿verdad? Lo puedo emitir. My shirt is brown. My, sh my shorts are blue, por ejemplo. Ya no es necesario mencionar color, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, bueno, se puede utilizar, no hay ningún problema, pero sería algo es, repetitivo, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo podemos omitir. Thank you, Jose. My shirts are yellow and my blouse is black. Good, Evan. My t-shirt is red and my joggers aren't that blue. Good, Jonathan. Okay, my teacher. Yeah, my t-shirt. You're welcome. My t-shirt is blue and white. My jeans are blue. Good. Okay. My dress is color black. At the same, Jennifer, you can omit color. It's okay. You can say just my dress is black. Puede omitir el color, Jennifer. Solo puede decir my dress is black. My t-shirt is white. You walk in. Linda, sorry. My flip-flops are brown. My t-shirt is pink. My jeans are blue. My shoes are white. Okay, just a link. My t-shirt is light green and my shorts are black. Okay, Jensen. 
my flip flops are pink. Nice, Jennifer, my hero. Her is white, my gyms are black, and my shoes are white. Awesome, say that. My t-shirt is black, my shorts are blue, my flip-flops are pink and black. Awesome, Melissa. My t-shirt is blue and white. Yeah. Pants are, are blue. Roxana, my pants are blue. Le faltó la tem pants y le faltó el verbo are. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. My t-shirt is dark blue and red, and my shorts are light blue. With Anila, my shoes are black. Rosana, my t-shirt is blue. My t-shirt is black. With Carlos and Margarita, my shorts are gray. Oh, the spelling Carlos with shorts is like this. Be careful with the spelling. Shorts, shorts. Se hace la spelling. Vamos cómo se escribe shorts, ¿verdad? My t-shirt is blue and my shorts are blue. My shorts are pink. Okay. Good. The what up? Okay, I can see that. Well, say you, yeah, you fixed right there. Yeah. Thank you. My blouse is pink and black. My jeans are black. Nice. Good, good. I can see, you know, more examples. Let me see my flip flops. Oh, Carlos, flip flops is like this, Carlos. Flip flops is like this. Flip flops like this. My t shirt is orange. My pants are orange. Daniel, my pants are orange. And my boots are black. Sí, había ido el mensaje cuando me fijé. Y sí, cuando they are. It's okay, it's okay. In pants, you forget the T. So, look at the in pants. My blouse is orange. My pants are black. And my shoes are black. Look, look at it. Uh, my t-shirt is black, my skirt is white, and my shoes are white. Jennifer, Torres, my sh shoes are white. My shoes are white. Shoes are white. Great, right? good. Awesome, thank you, Lisa, my t-shirt is red. Okay, that is the way, guys, we describe right? clothes. You know, we can use colors. Colors. Colors are adjectives, right? Los colores son adjetivos. Then describir. Okay. Well, any questions? My shorts are blue and my shoes are black. Good, Lisa? No questions, teacher. No. Okay. Uh, well, I would like to listen to just uh, some participants before to go because it's almost time. Uh, Jonathan, tell me, can you describe your clothes? Describe your clothes, please. Uh, describe my, my clothes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my my t-shirt is red and my joggers are dark blue. Okay, yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Melissa, can you describe your clothes, please? Melissa? Repeat, teacher. Yeah, can you describe your clothes, Melissa? Tell me, tell me the examples that you wrote, Melissa. The examples that you wrote. Los ejemplos que escribió. My shirt is, blue, is black. Yeah. My shorts are uh, blue. Yes. Y my toes are pink and blue. Okay. You say shoes or shorts? Uh, ambos. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Shorts and shoes, okay, nice. Shorts. Thank you, Melissa. Jancy, tell me, well, can you describe your clothes, please? My t-shirt is light green. My shorts are black and my shoes are green. Okay, nice, okay. Can you describe your clothes, please? Uh, let me try with, my dad, please, can you describe your clothes? 
My t-shirt is gray. My pants black. Okay. No more. Thank you. It's okay. Very good. Well, guys, because of the time, we're going to start right here. But I would like uh, to assign you right uh, an activity, an extra activity. I need you to describe your clothes, right? One more time. But I need you to think about, you know, the clothes. But uh, let's say, um, same. Clothes. Or again, leisure, right? Leisure. Clothes for leisure. But I need to think about, you know, clothes that you wear. Clothes you wear when you go out. Go out. Okay. I need to think about the clothes that you wear when you go out. For example, you can say, well, I wear a what? Let's say a, a polo shirt, right? Polo shirt, maybe. Polo shirt. A jeans. And a sneaker, right? Imagine. Imagine. And then I need you to describe the clothes, right? You have to say, well, my polo shirt, polo shirt is, uh, let's say red. My jeans are, my sneakers are. So you have to first say, right, the clothes that you wear when you go out, and then you have to describe, right, that clothes. Primero vamos a mencionar la ropa que utilizamos, ¿verdad? Cuando vestimos, usamos cuando salimos, ¿verdad? Salimos con... Familia, amigos, etc. Primero vamos a escribir eso y luego vamos a, para mencionar, vamos a escribir nuestra ropa, ¿verdad? Imaginemos la ropa, yo sé que se conoce la ropa, ¿verdad? Su ropa, de que la vamos a, a escribir. ¿okay? Esa sería un, una pequeña, ¿verdad? Una tarea extra para que ustedes sean practicando. ¿Ok? Ok. Yes, questions. No question, teach. No. Te enviaría okay. al WhatsApp. Yeah, please. Can you send it in the WhatsApp group, please? We can we can see right your examples. Okay. Please, please. Enviamos al grupo WhatsApp por favor todos para estar compartiendo verdad con nuestros compañeros. Igual verdad y se les va a estar apoyando. Okay. Well, alguien más preguntas? No teacher. No. Vamos a quedar hasta acá, solo ¿verdad? recordarles de, por favor, continuar con la plataforma, sus actividades, ¿verdad? Y recordemos que debemos completar hasta ese próximo jueves a, de la clase, ¿verdad? Tener completo hasta la sure. sesión 4. Yes. Sure. Una, I have una, hay una cuestión. Eh, no sé si no puse atención, pasó lista, fíjate que no, te, no escuché. Y pasé y lo, agregué, y lo agregué, no se preocupe. Ah, perdón, ahí de lo que pasa es que no, no escuché, pero bueno, thank you, teacher. No se preocupe, eh, bueno, de hecho quizá puede dar un double check, por si alguien no lo tengo en lista. Carlos Guardado, no sé por acá. Eh, Gabriela, no sé por acá. Pues estoy mencionando los que no los tengo todavía, ¿verdad? Porque okay. solamente son ellos dos. Ahí los demás están, no se preocupen. Ah, gracias, teacher. Thank yes, you. welcome. Well, guys, we're going to start right here because it's time. Please don't forget to do the homework and send it right through WhatsApp, um, you know, as soon as possible. Practice, and I will see you tomorrow at 1 p.m., right? Please complete your platform, right? Okay. Have a good day, guys. Good afternoon, and I will see you tomorrow. Blessings to all of you. Okay. Goodbye. Good tomorrow, teacher. Thank good you. Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Same to you, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Blessings.